what is going on guys i am the alternate and today i am so excited well one i'm very sad it has been an unacceptable amount of time since my last video i'm so sorry for that but i am ready right now to start this planet coaster series because i love this community i love this channel and i am just ready to get content back out so what the first thing i figured i'd do is start this planet coaster let's play series now i had this recorded I want to say the date on this file was somewhere in 2018. So we're finally getting around to, you know, actually recording the audio part of this. I'm not sure how this is going to go, you know, if I just sit here and do an uninterrupted commentary or if I splice things out. But basically, you know, I've done a lot of things since I recorded this video, you know, been on a huge mega trip to Florida and Georgia and Dollywood, done a lot of parks down there, as well as go and do Kings Island and Orion, as well as go to California and do Accelerator. You know, so many new things have happened since I've recorded this. So I figured, you know, while I'm talking and doing the commentary, I could, you know, hit on some of those things and not just, you know, talk just about what's going on in Planet Coaster. But this is going to be my Planet Coaster park. I am going to start a little warning and say that I do not theme anywhere near as much as people do in this game like you will not see me even probably build a coaster station but I do like making sort of semi-realistic areas as you can see I'm trying to make a sign the first thing we're gonna do in this episode or this is our first episode is I'm gonna establish this little left flank from the entrance now I think this is gonna be a little bit of a kitty area and also a big flat ride area you know I was maybe thinking like a carnival theming something like that but later on in the episode, you're going to see that we built a wild mouse in this area. Now, I do love the coaster builder in this, but I'm not going to lie. I am not the best at it, but I do love building roller coasters in this. I believe the second episode in this, we have a GCI that's going to be tackled. But as you can see, I'm establishing, you know, this left side of the of the path here. I, I continue to a straight away eventually. So eventually we're going to expand and, you know, go around. But well, something I am very, very excited for, especially because Planet Coaster does not run the best on my computer. So I'm honestly not sure how long this will go because I don't want it to be unbearable with, you know, frames lagging and things like that. But Planet Coaster Console Edition does come out. As they said, the holiday area, the holiday time period, I am not sure, but I am very excited about that. I am going to be grabbing that, and I have an Elgato capture card. And so that is going to run so much smoother on my computer. And, you know, I might just restart the series on there as well as stream that. Speaking of streaming, I did just get Fall Guys, and I've been playing that a lot. And I know, you know, some of you people might be sick of Fall Guys, but I, I actually do enjoy playing it. Me and Tyler, as well as Thrill Central, have a great time playing it. And that might be something that I stream in the future, or maybe even just do a highlight video, because I have hit some things playing that game. But <laughs> sorry for this little dull section. I didn't realize how long I took to make this this stupid entrance I, didn't, I told you I do not like to spend a lot of time but it doesn't look very nice there's not there's not much there so now I figured you know let's hire a couple of staff and then we should get into building some flat rides here soon and like I said it's been a while since I've recorded this but it has been three months since my last video you know when I did that whole connects accelerator creation which that was really fun in deep in quarantine I was like hey let me bust out the connects and make that but as you can see, we're coming back to this series. Some other options I've had is, you know, some other countdown lists. Like, maybe just, like, my top B&Ms in general. Just lots of things like that. And just so many... These recent trips really have reshaped my list and just made me fall in love with this community again. Oh, getting to do Orion was amazing, although I will say was a little overhyped. Um, I definitely think Banshee still shines at the park. But, as you can see, now we're about to add the rides. We were adding a few stations, so I had to do some bathrooms. Surprised I went with an SNS shot tower. Normally when I do these, I build based off of the rides that I like in real life. So I'm surprised I didn't go with the Intamin Roto Drop model. I do remember in this though, when you see, when I finally install the Pendulum ride, I did not do the Delirium, I didn't do the Hus style because I actually prefer the style that used to be at my Ohio State Fair, which unfortunately had the accent, but I had many, many, not credits, but times written on that ride. I love that ride. Oh, and this was a new ride, I believe, added as the as the new update in Planet. Well, it's not new at all anymore, but they added a rides update, and they added this little thing in. You can see it comes with a custom banner that I'm sitting here trying to figure out how to get on the ride, and there we go. 
So we got a nice little ride, nice little scenery pack there. I believe that pack also came with a Mac launch coaster. So maybe we'll do that in a future video, although. Uh, the only Mac I've done is um, at San SeaWorld San Diego, and I, it was a nice ride, but I, I just, I don't know. I feel like the Intamin Blitz Coaster demolishes it, but we will see as I get to do more Macs. Unfortunately, when I went to Carowinds, Copperhead Strike wasn't built. But I would eventually like to make a Fury in this, or something like that, where maybe by water, you know, Theme Park Worldwide is one of my favorite channels, and seeing some of the scenery, you know, he creates is beautiful. Not just adding a few of the trees, because the, the peeps in this game do love to complain about scenery, so let me add everything. As you can see, there is the pendulum ride I was talking about. Ooh, I'm adding a fireball. I've only ever done one of these once. And it was at my local, or the Ohio State Fair, which I'm really sad that I got canceled this year. A couple events that are going on right now, Keys to the Kingdom and Hollywood Nights. Now, I'm just going to, I have not done Voyage, and I'm very, very sad about it. But, at the same time, if a ride is only running at its prime during like a few days in a season, you know, I'm sure it's still a great ride, and I love the beast, so I expect Voyage to be very high on my list. But, you know, not everybody's going to get that chance to ride it during Hollywood night. So I just feel like that's a little unfortunate. I am using some default stalls. I'm sorry about that. I, I really am not into theming that much. But what I've done with this little circle is try to make a food court. Now, I might end up enclosing this at some point. But now I'm just going to try to distribute a bunch of food things. I remember thinking, well, as I'm doing this, oh my goodness, these default things look very bad. But... At least, well, you know, it'll serve a purpose. I got a message when I went back into this world actually recently saying that all of these stands were full. So we've got peeps and we've got this area developed. And you're going to see the site for this little wild mouse is going to be to the left of this plot. Now going to King's Island, you know, if we want to do some speculation, we can really, I can talk about anything on this episode. Just love watching myself play Planet Coaster. I love this game in a nice sped up fashion. Just talking about a lot of current events. That's really, you know, what we can do with this series. I know a, a Let's Play Planet Coaster series is not going to be anywhere near as popular as a lot of my videos. But for those of you who watch this and who want to keep watching this, just be sure to show me some support down in the comments below and we'll keep doing this. Especially because these aren't... These aren't too terrible to make. I already have the two pre-recorded and we can definitely go in to this world and keep being creative and maybe take some comments, suggestions of what to build next. As you can see, these lines are all really full. When I go back and watch or look at my Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 or Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 worlds, my queues, I always made extremely big queues. They were never full and I was that always upset me, but I realized it was because I made huge ones. Now just making the small ones, they're getting full easier. This little block placement system in Planet Coaster was really different. So as you can see, I have no clue what I'm doing here. <laughs> it's very interesting. Oh, I think I might have been putting a handyman just for this area. But compared to the Roller Coaster Tycoons that I've played, this was very different, and I do I do love this game. I did make a Planet Coaster Before You Buy video on the channel, if anybody would be interested in viewing that. I think the next ride we make, actually, is the coaster. But first things first, we've got to put some benches around this area. Yeah, I do like to, you know, make them functional, although it might not look the best, like, I don't know why, did I just put a trash can by, it? or is that an ATM by itself on that, right there, but I don't know what that, oh, that line got full extremely fast, but going back into current events, having gone to King's Island this year, that plot, Vortex is in, looks terrible, and I'm not, I'm not even saying this as a King's Island fanboy, as for a Cedar Fair Park, it looks literally like they ripped something up out of the ground and it just doesn't look very clean now fortunately you know covid may impact their next project but their 50th anniversary is coming up in a couple years and i wonder really wonder what could go in that plot now what coaster studios said makes sense maybe they go with another style mac which would be cool because i'd have a mac at my home park but there could be a lot of things there i don't hopefully they're done with wooden rides but you know how king's island is they might not be Ooh, that pendulum ride. I really love that model, honestly. And there was one at Knott's Berry Farm, but it had a ridiculous line, so I did not do it again. I've done it, did it the first time I went to Knott's. Another unfortunate fact with me and Knott's is that Montezuma's Revenge has been closed both times. That is extremely heartbreaking, honestly. But we are finally 
enough rambling on we are finally getting into building our first coaster for the party now so this is a wild mouse i just tried to make it a standard layout you know and not take up too much space but still make it a good wild mouse make it windy give it a couple airtime moments and at the end you'll see we put some theming on it to please the people so coming out of the station i think we're just going to take a little bank turn into the into the live tail i've really tried with the with these coasters because i have no clue what it is in planet coasters that just makes like if you see my planet coasters rise the banking and just the turns are not smooth i have no clue what causes that i don't think that was steep enough hopefully i make it a little steeper but this is going to be our first wild mouse i'm trying to make it as smooth as possible i don't know what it is with this coaster builder but my turns especially bank turns and when we get into throw coasters as you'll see i rode the gci i built and i was like wow i wish i knew how to fix this but this is our first coaster. You're gonna see we're gonna turn a left turn. No, oh, that is a right turn, excuse me. We're gonna go into the first straightaway section. Honestly, the best wild mouse I've probably ever done was the one at Fun Spot, even though that one was one that spun. That I haven't been on a lot of wild mouse wild mice, excuse me, that I would consider really good. I did skip out on the one at Knott's Berry Farm both times. And I think I tried to give this one some wide turns, because this isn't one of the ones that you know. It's super twisty. You can see it has the wooden track, so it's not the new style or anything. Did Wildcat have a wooden tr track at Cedar Point? I, I can't remember. It's been so long since I did that ride. As you see, we're going to start off with a pretty big drop. These wild mouse don't normally have drops that big, but being an enthusiast, you know, we do tend to build things that we like to see. A couple other things I may be working on. I've always wanted to go into No Limits and build a new and improved Orion. So I don't, that, that maybe be just adding a couple laps. I did love Orion. That's not to say it's a bad ride or anything. It's my number two at the park. But just maybe, you know, giving what, what coaster enthusiasts might have wanted more on that, would, I feel like would be an interesting concept, especially considering I've done the same with Dragster. So there we, I like having the vehicles test so I can see how it's making it through the course. Those, you know, the turns didn't look too, too intense, but I do think I wanted to fix them a little bit more. I do like how it has the wooden chain sound in this. I do. I love Planet Coasters. It did so many things right. I feel like if it just ran better on my computer and the Coaster Builder was better, I would absolutely love this ride. A couple other models I'm considering B&M Inverts. If you saw my um, what, what You Should Know Before Buying Planet Coaster, a couple people were commenting about my recreation of Banshee, even though it was not very good. I would love to do a BM and member, especially after the likes of Montu. That ride was insane. Absolutely insane. Montu blew me away. But that's just that's what great B&Ms have the tendency to do. Fury, amazing coaster. Didn't have an issue with it having to warm up. I will say, my rides on Fury were much, much smoother than my rides on Orion, but that is a topic for another day. I'm already regarded as the rattle hater, so... Not even going to go deep into that. I know it's a little unrealistic to be building right over the station like that, but hey, I'm just trying to make a good, you know, sort of ride that doesn't take up too much space, but it's still a kiddie ride. A little bit of air time there. Only a little bit, though, because you don't want to be extreme on a kiddie coaster. And I think I'm going to do something. I know it, it's going to wind to the right and then come back to the station. Well, we got a nice little air time here. I've only used a couple of brakes as we go along throughout. I normally like using brakes to make sure it goes at the exact speed I want it. Oh, I don't know what that noise, that noise was. Oh, this is a nice Planet Coaster music in the background. I'm not sure. At the current time of this video, I haven't added any music or anything. So, you know, if I, feel, if I go back and listen and feel like my voice is too boring, I might do that. Or any suggestions you guys have for this series, just go ahead and let me know. I do love this as well as I might make a mini you know making no limits 2 coaster series like this like let's play no limits 2 i was streaming i was trying to do not a raptor recreation but make an invert with a raptor style drop and i was streaming that as well so we may get back into the streaming scene here with fall guys in this ride at the end of this i do have a normal speed pov of this wild mouse of course but for now you know they generally just have a have an airtime. Oh my goodness, yeah, that is still flying. And I thought that was gonna be done, so we're gonna have to do a couple more things here to take some speed away. 
computer just went dark. I've been sitting here doing this live comp for so long. But Planet, I, I can, I know I can reliably stream no limits. I haven't tried Fall Guys, but Planet Coaster takes up so much CPU. I'm, I'm not even sure if Planet Coaster, if I can do that, if I can stream that smoothly. But I would love to just keep adding onto this series and keep with this park. Oh, I feel like that's not level with the station, but we'll do a little self-correction there. Come out of the station. I wish there were transfer tracks in these. I love. Even in lum No Limits 2, when it gets dark, I pretend that I'm a ride operator, and I put the <laughs> I put the trains in storage. I miss No Limits 2. I'm really going to have to get back into that. Alright, here's a quick little sped up POV. Oh, nope, never mind. This is the actual one, so I'm going to mute my mic while you guys watch this. As you guys can see, it's already not running the smoothest on my computer, but I think, you know, this is still smooth enough to where we don't have any problem. Oh, it goes a little slow, and then you get a nice little launch into it. As you can see, a pretty standard wild mouse. You know, there weren't any areas where I felt like it was absolutely zooming through, but it had some nice, a nice couple drops to it, a nice, you know, few airtime moments. For a wild mouse, I am pretty happy with this creation. So this is going to be our first coaster in the park. Let's see how I make... My cue looks a little bit like Wildcats. I remember it used to wind close to the lift hill. And you can see it's right next to that pipe scream type ride. Which, does Cedar Point count that as a credit? Oh, I remember I was trying to figure out this for a minute. I could not figure out how to connect this. And we have to have fast lane. We are a corporate park. We need fast lane. <laughs> Oh no, oh I was <laughs> thought I accidentally deleted the coaster for a second. But we do need fast lane. Otherwise, how are we gonna make our money? Ew, ew. This is one thing that was actually very annoying. I remember coming all all you can see all of these stalls that are closed, the people just quit. I have no clue like how do you this is sandbox mode. I wish I could not have that happen. And as you can see, those bathrooms have not been attended to. It smelled like, it looked like it smells like Six Flags over Georgia smelled the entire time I was there. Even though I did, I did really like that park. That park was stinky. Like they just had trash laying around. That's what it smelled like. Alright, thinking, I think I just made sure I have a handyman on the area. Maybe hiring some mechanics. Scroll up here and see how much long we have on this episode. We are reaching 20 minutes. I, my, I personally would not use a restroom that is a clown. But if it's in the game, we're going to use it. <laughs> it's better theming than just the plain ones. I think I'm sitting, going, raising all their salaries, trying to keep everybody happy because I had no clue what was going on. I thought this was sandbox mode. In Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, you don't really have to worry about anybody quitting. I will say, if there is any screen recorder app for my phone, I have been playing a lot of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, the mobile port for that game, as well as the um, Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic, which is the port of Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 and 1 with all of the modes in it. I need to get to Amity Airfield so I can finally beat that. I did not beat that on the old computer that I had that game on. I, I remember trying it several times. I could never crack it. So I do need to do that. But if there's any way I could get a nap and maybe do a live comm with that, I would definitely continue to do that. Here we go. Just a couple of ride POVs or just 
just looking around the park. I think it looks pretty nice. Just for this first, just for the fact that it's just this first little left-hand area. Obviously, the tusk, the hus, or not even the hus, the top spins. This isn't a top spin. What am I saying? I'm sorry. As you guys can tell, this is my first live commentary in a while. But this is the pendulum ride, and I, I forget the exact model name. Wait, isn't the hus? No, the top spin. Isn't it? Isn't it a hus top spin? I'm think I'm, I'm confusing that with the model that is at Six Flags Great Adventure that's modeled after Twix. I don't know if top scan, top spin. Somebody's gonna have to correct me in the comments without murdering me, please, because I I'm sorry about that. But I, I I really missed this ride at the fair. I I used to marathon. I always got the wristband and I would just marathon this ride. It's be, it's crazy compared to the Hus ones. One because you face in inwards, which I don't think has that big of an effect. But I don't know if this one's accurate to the real life models. But the laterals you get because these things spin laterally more than their Hus counterparts. Do. Absolutely love them. You see, we got a full ride here. Some maximum swingage. Got a nice view of the wild mouse. I remember, yeah, this one, like just, here's an example, as it goes from left to right there, you can literally feel your body move within your restraint from the left to the right, from the laterals of this, as you're just getting tossed out of your seat. That's why this was my favorite model. This is one of my favorite flat rides ever. I might like this better than Skyhawk. I don't know about Falcon Fury, but you know, there's a quick little POV of that one there for you. We're coming to the end of this episode. So just go ahead and be sure to let me know in the comments if you guys enjoyed this or if you have any suggestions, maybe any comments of what we should put in the world next. I should have another episode of this coming soon, but I may want to start, you know, maybe doing some more countdown things in the meantime. I am just getting back in this live commentary spirit. Sorry, it's been such a huge drought, especially with I had online school over the summer and working and so many things i'm glad now to be back on this grind because like i said i love this community i loved getting to you know just meet an enthusiast we we're both really excited about it ryan and we became friends when we wrote it together twice so that was really enjoyable and i just love to get this channel back on its feet but we are coming towards the end of this episode here i think i'm just going to place this themed restroom and then you're going to see me go ahead and check all of my staff and make sure everybody's happy so with that be sure to like the video if you guys enjoyed watching this i hope to have more content for you guys coming soon in the future and i always try to post at least three to four times a week on my instagram so go ahead and be sure to follow that and i'll see you guys in the next one can you catch me